Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Mark's 1095 Santa Fe set that came, uh, I don't know, four or five days ago. And I got uh, the A and B unit and two passenger cars for $1.25. And uh, they were just absolutely eaten alive with rust. Now, the B unit was smashed in shipping. So I contacted the guy, and he uh, refunded my money and the shipping and just told me to keep them. So anyway, I couldn't uh, salvage the motor out of the A unit. The motor was absolutely trash, turning to powder. So I scavenged all the parts off of it that I could, and uh, the uh, side plates of the motor itself was just trash. It was beyond repair. So in any case, I repaired the B unit, glued it all back together, then cut it off and turned it into this doodle bug. In doing that, it freed up its trucks. And so uh, since the A unit already had the slots in it, I uh, took the B unit truck and mounted it on the A unit body. And you can see how badly rusted this thing is. Now I soaked this in oil for 24 hours. The wheels were frozen absolutely solid. And I soaked this in oil for 24 hours and then used a pair of vice grips on the axles to break them loose. And as you see, it worked. But uh, you can see how bad this was. This thing was literally eaten alive with rust. And uh, the side plates on the motor were just turning to powder. So it was beyond repair. In any case, since the uh, A unit had the slots, I uh, took the B unit truck and just mounted it on the A unit body. So at least I have a piece of rolling stock. If I find a motor, I will, of course, uh, put a motor in this. But in the meantime, rather than it sitting under the bench... I uh, put the B unit truck on it and converted the A unit into a dummy. Now this is what the trucks look like. They are actually just a piece of channel iron, as you can see, with Mark's uh, wheels mounted on them, and then these plastic covers that are riveted directly to the channel iron itself. And uh, this one is going to wind up in the parts box. In the meantime, the good truck, uh, I... Uh, transferred to the uh, A unit body and it gave me a piece of at least usable rolling stock. So I will very likely put a front and rear coupler on this and just put it on one of the consists and just pull it around as a piece of rolling stock. In the meantime, what I did to uh, test the wheels was I've been pushing it around with the uh, 2036 as you see. So it gives you the illusion of a diesel locomotive pulling a steam locomotive and its consist. So it's actually very reminiscent of when they moved the uh, 4014. The uh, 4014 of course was the big boy and they uh, moved it with a diesel locomotive and it looked exactly like this. So like I said, I will uh, put a front and rear coupler on this uh, now dummy A unit and just use it for a piece of rolling stock. It was free, so I've scavenged every single part I could off of it. And rather than having it sit under the bench collecting dust, I just transplanted that uh, dummy truck in place of the motor, and it's at least usable. And since it was free, of course, I try to make the, the uh, most use of everything I can, and it worked. At least I have a piece of rolling stock. Like I said, I'll add a front and rear coupler to this, and I'll very likely put uh, Lionel couplers on it and put it on the Lionel Consist. That 2036 can pull almost anything. It has mag traction. It's pushing this uh, dummy plus pulling this entire Consist with no problem at all, as you can see. So, it's far from perfect, but at least I have a usable piece of rolling stock rather than this thing just sitting under the bench collecting dust. And uh, so I have the new doodle bug, of course, made out of the broken B unit. When I cut it off and added that motor, that freed up the trucks that I could then transplant to the A unit. Like I said, if I can find a motor, I'll put a motor in this. But in the meantime, at least I can uh, have a piece of uh, rolling stock that was free. When you can get something for free, you might as well make use of it. And this was a great expedient. Uh, since I didn't have the correct motor in it, I just added that uh, dummy truck to it and basically converted the A unit into the B unit. Put a front and rear coupler on this. I can throw it on one of the consists and at least 
have a piece of rolling stock. So I've scavenged everything I could off of that motor that was in there. I got the armature, the brush plate, the wheels, uh, uh, all the parts that I could pull off of it, the gears. The gears were plastic, so uh, they weren't uh, damaged at all by the rust, but the motor itself was literally turning to powder. It was breaking up in my hand as I was pulling the uh, gears off of it. And of course, off the uh, two passenger cars that came with it, uh, I scavenged the wheels. The trucks were beyond repair. They were falling to powder. But I did scavenge that power roller that snapped onto the four-wheel truck. And uh, still testing it, and it works just absolutely splendidly, as you can see. So I will take that power roller. This thing was frozen solid. Well, I got it broken loose, scraped the contactor. It works really well. As you see, that light is flicker-free. And I'm going to take that contactor and uh, transfer it to a four-wheel truck on a caboose and make a nice lighted caboose out of it. So I've scavenged every possible thing I could off of these two locomotives. Like I said, this one, the motor was just beyond repair. So if I do find a motor, I will buy it and... Uh, stick it in this uh, shell, it'll give me a running locomotive. In the meantime, I've just transplanted that uh, dummy truck and at least it is a piece of usable rolling stock. And like I said, if nothing else, I can just push it around for right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And it gives you the illusion of a diesel locomotive pulling a steam locomotive. Like I said, it's very reminiscent of when they moved the uh, 4014 big boy they did it just like this in fact so you have the illusion of a running diesel locomotive so i will put front and rear trucks on this and just probably put it in the consist this 2036 is heavy plus it has mag traction so as you see it's moving all this weight with no problem at all the best part about it of course is it was free and uh I've used all the parts that I could uh, scavenge, but like I said, rather than this sitting under the bench collecting dust, I just put that uh, dummy rear truck on the uh, A unit and at least it's a piece of rolling stock. Good enough for now. If I come across a motor, of course, I will put a motor in this. But uh, using it is better than having it sitting under the bench. Anyway, I just want to do a quick follow-up video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com And as always... Thank you for watching.